probability density function and cumulative distribution function. And uh, what we are talking about is the PDF versus the CDF. A continuous random variable x as a PDF that is given by f of x is equals to a quarter when x lies between 2 and negative 2 and uh, it's 0 elsewhere. And we want to see how we can compute the CDF. We want to find the CDF which is given by capital F of X. And therefore the CDF which is equals to the F of X is the integral of F of X from 0 to X a quarter dx and therefore this is a quarter of x. Therefore we can comfortably say that our f of x is equals to 0 when x is less than negative 2 it's x over 4 when x lies between 0 and 2 and it is 1 when x is greater than 2. And the probability that x lies between 2 and negative 2, it will be f of 2 minus f of negative 2. And therefore, it will be x 2 over 4 minus minus 2 over 4 is equals to 1. In most cases, if I was to get the probability of x maybe lying between 0 and uh, 2, what I would do is I'll do the integral from 0 to 2 a quarter dx, which is x over 4, 0 and 2, and the answer would be a half. That one I could do. That is, I use the f of x. Now, I could do the same, but this time I use the cumulative. And how do I go about using the cumulative? I will say it is f of 2 minus f of 0. So it will be 2 over 4 minus 0 over 4. And that gives me 2 over 4 is 1 over 2. So I can use the cumulative distribution function to get probabilities. If I know the cumulative distribution function. Or I can use the probability density function to be able to do the same. And they normally work together and makes it very easy for us to, to get the solution. Then the f of x is given by the first derivative of f of x, which is the d dx of 1 over 4 over x, which is a quarter. Now the question would be, how would I know the intervals for the f of x if I wasn't too sure? If I wanted to know the intervals for x, one of the things I would do is to test this. Because there are certain values, and I already had an idea from the beginning, so this time I would test from negative 2 to 2 dx, and the answer should be equals to 1. If this is true, then this would be an f of x. And I know this is a quarter x. If I say from negative 2 to 2 in this case, then you realize that this will be 2 over 4 minus minus 2 over 4. And that will give me 4 over 4 is equals to 1. So I would know what are the intervals for the f of x. f of x is straightforward because the integral from the lower limit to the upper limit of f of x dx should always be equals to 1. Now, in situations where we are given the discrete case, the PMF, we want to look at an example. Variable x as a PMF, that is probability mass function, uh, given by f of x is equals to 1 over 15, 2x plus 1. We can be able to write the f of x in full, x and, uh, and uh, it's a compatriot. So when x is 1, so it will be 3 over 15. When x is 2, 
it will be 5 over 15 and when x is 3 it will be 7 over 15. One thing you'll note that 3 plus 5 plus 7 over 15 will give you 1. And that proves to us that the f of x is a probability mass function. Now let's get the CDF. The cumulative want to find the CDF. So we could write the same. So in this case, what we have is we have X and then the F of X, the capital. So it's called cumulative. So one, two, and three. The first one is three over 15. The second one is eight over 15. What is eight over 15? Three over 15 plus five over 15 is eight over 15. And then eight plus seven, and that is 15 over 15, which is equals to 1. Telling us that our last value should be equals to 1.